In today's video, you will learn five powerful Python one-liners to make your code shorter. First one is swapping two values in two variables. For example, if I have variable A that has value 1 and variable B that has value 2. I'll first print them to show you that in the end they are going to swap values. A will have value of A and B will have value of B. To swap two variables in Python, you simply need to write a, comma, b, and then to be equal to b, comma, a. Now, I tell Python that I want my a to be equal to b and my b to be equal to a. So, in the end, when I print f a will be equal to a and b will be equal to b, now this a will have the value of b and this b will have the value of my a. As you can see, before the swap, a had value 1 and b had value 2, but after the swap, now a has value 2 because b has value 2, and b has value 1 because a had value 1 before the swap. Now, let me show you how to write if in one line. You can write if in one line, and it's used only when you want to assign some value to your variable. For example, you want your C to have value, let's say, odd if A is greater than B and had, has value even otherwise. This is the syntax. First, you write the value that you want your variable to have if this if is true. If it's not true, then you write else and write the second value that you want your variable to have if it doesn't satisfy this condition here. In my case here, since a is not greater than b, my c will have value even. Now when I print c, you will see even. And even is printed. Since I can put if in one line, why can't I put for in one line? And the answer is, of course, I can. And we are putting for in one line usually when we want to populate some iterable, some container. For example, a list, a dictionary, or a set, or whatever. I will show that on lists. For example, I will have my list A, and I want my list to have all the quadratic values of, let's say, numbers from 1 until 3, including the 3. So, I need to write square braces, because this tells Python that A is a list. And first, I need to write the formula, which is A i squared. This is how I write i squared. But my Python doesn't know what i is, and I want to tell him that it is from my for loop. For i in range 1 until 4. Why 4? Because 4 is not included. This line here is completely the same as this one here. For i in range 1 until 4, a b equal to plus a squared. The second and third line are completely the same as this line here. But this line here is more compact. So, the value of elements that you want your list to have, you put them here at the first position, and then you write your for loop. Now, when I print A, you will see that it will be a list and it will have values 1, 4, and 9. Square braces indicate that it is a list and I have values 1, 4, and 9. Sometimes you have a need to merge two dictionaries. For example, if you have a dictionary 1 that has key A that will have a value 1, and it has key B that will have a value 2. And now I want to have another dictionary I will name it dictionary 2. It will have b, but this b will have value 3. 
and it will also have C, but this C will have value 4. Now I will merge them in two different ways. I mean, it's the same way, but it's not the same order. You need to write these double stars because that way you unpack your dictionary. When I write double star dictionary, it unpacks it into this. B will be equal to 3 and C will be equal to 4. This is what double star before a dictionary means. So let's quickly write this. Dictionary 1, comma, dictionary 2. D2 will be equal to double star dictionary 2 and double star dictionary 1. Why it's not the same? Because Python first puts all the elements from dictionary 1, which are these two. Then it puts all the elements from dictionary 2. But dictionaries can't have duplicates. So Python says, OK, I will put the last occurrence of your duplicates to have the final value. So this A and B from dictionary 1 will remain. A will remain, but B will not remain. This B3 will be swapped with this one here. So this D1 should have value 1, 3, and 4, and vice versa. When I put first dictionary 2 and second dictionary 1, this one should have value 2, 4, and then 1. Let's print them to show you what I mean. D1 will be equal to D1. Here, print f d2 to be equal to d2. As you can see, my dictionary 1 has a, b, and c, but b has value 3. My dictionary 2 has value b, c, and a, but b has value now 2. And the last useful thing I want to show you is how to flatten your multidimensional arrays or lists in Python. For example, if you have a 2D list, like this, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and you want to make it to be a 1D list, you need to write this. Sum, and then here pass your list, and pass a, an, an empty list. This will create your one-dimensional array from your two-dimensional array. But if you have a multi-dimensional array, you will need to write two sums. So this sum actually reduces the level by one. So if I have... one from three dimensional array should look like this sum a three and then an empty list and here I should do this again and pass this here will reduce my three dimensional array to a two dimensional array and this sum here will reduce my two dimensional array to one dimensional array now this here should work if we print a 1, 2, and print A1, 3. As you can see, my two dimensional array is reduced to one dimensional array, and my 3D dimensional array is reduced to one dimensional array. If you liked these tricks, I've got plenty more waiting for you. Check out my Python tips and tricks playlist. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next videos.